Super quick update on the binary clock. Well, it's actually working. This is going a lot faster than it normally would, but you should see uh, that we've got our single digit seconds here bouncing along. It goes up to 9 and then counts over to 10. And that's when our carry out signal goes over here and we get an extra digit. So currently it's on 4, there's 5, and it should reset after that. So it only goes up to 5 on the larger seconds, and it's the same circuit for the minutes. So the binary clock is on its way, thanks to a 4073, rather than one of these, which is a 4027? No, 4017, which is a, a decade counter. I was trying to count up the seconds and then have it reset at 5. However, the uh, carry-out signal from here isn't just a single pulse. It is a pulse that goes over different clock cycles, so wasn't that helpful. So next up is the minutes. Now the, the minutes are exactly the same as the seconds in terms of logic. So it goes to 59 minutes and 59 seconds. Um, and so it clocks over at the same time as the seconds do. So that should be relatively easy. The 4073 has uh, three AND gates. It's a triple input AND gate, but I'm just tying two of them together to make it a uh, two input one. The 4081 I think is actually a more appropriate chip, but I couldn't get hold of it. so. We'll be using the 4073. And then after that is the hours. Now, to get to the minutes section, I think I'm gonna to have to use the AND gate as my clock source, or rather the enable carry out source for the next chip. And I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with the hours yet. It's, um, it's a bit difficult to figure out in my head. I've refused to look at any <laughs> binary clock examples that are on the internet. I'm sure there are hundreds. I mean, these chips have been around since the 70s, so there'll be lots and lots of examples but I'm not looking at it yet. So once I fail, <laughs> if I fail, uh, then I will look up some examples. But for now, I'm happy just to try and play around and finish it. 